Hello. In this video, we will be looking at how to import uh, a terrain model using Google Earth Pro as the reference. Okay. So first of all, we will need uh, the software, OpenOS Designer. Okay. So we will be looking at how to do this in OpenOS Designer as well as Google Earth Pro. Now, first of all, I can just go on ahead and start my Google Earth Pro. Okay. So this is a freeware uh, that you can download from uh, Google. But there's one thing that you need to take note of. So you will always see that there's this prompt that says a new version of Google Earth Pro is available. So what we would want to do is just ignore this because OpenOS Designer is only compatible with a certain version and um, any higher version than that will not work. All right. <clears throat> so if you look at this, you should be seeing that the Google Earth Pro version should be 7.1.8.3036 or lower. So anything higher than this will not work with OpenOS Designer, right? So we just need to make sure of this. <clears throat> Subsequently, we can go ahead and launch our OpenOS Designer. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and launch my OpenOS Designer. So once you start up your Google Earth Pro in the background, I can go on ahead, uh, go on ahead and launch my OpenOS Designer. So in here, I can just set up the, um, the workspace and work set to um, the corresponding ones that we are using for our project. And I will then go ahead and create a new file, okay, which I will call um, the rain Singapore, for example. Okay, so I will use Singapore as my, um, as my reference for this uh, demo and make sure to set your seed file to seed 3D. All right, so because we are dealing with uh, terrain model, so we want to make sure that we are setting this to seed 3D. So I'm just going to set this up and open up my file. All right. So as we open up our new DGN, <coughs> this should be a 3D file. All right, so as we are opening it up, it should be just a blank file as what we are seeing now. So I'm just going to uh, ensure that this is a blank file. All right, how do I do that? So how do I do that? I can just go over to this fit view here and just make sure that it shows as no elements found. So I am sure that this is just a new blank and empty DGN. All right, so first things first is we will need to establish where in Singapore, we are looking to um, extract the terrain information. So let's say I want to look at a particular area here in Singapore called Bukit Bato. Right, so I will just uh, use Google Earth Pro to now search for that particular area of interest. So once we are here, all right, once we are here, all we need to do is uh, to really zoom into that area of interest say for example my project is running from um, from here and then the alignment will cross over here for example okay so with that in mind i will probably need the terrain information for this um for this area here that i'm going to box up right now okay so pro oops sorry so probably something along this area so what we want to do now is actually to try and fit that area into the view that we have in our Google Earth Pro. All right. And that's, that's all there is to it for this um, exercise at this point. So once you have established, this is the area that you are going to look at. I will go back to my OpenOS designer now, and you will want to head on over to your OpenOS modeling workflow if you're not already in it. And then you will want to go under the utilities uh, tab. So first off is we want to make sure we are in the right coordinate system or the right survey datum. So currently you can see that it's using UTM 84-18N. All right. For Singapore or for any other uh, countries, you can go over to this uh, icon here from library. All right. And here you can find that there is a whole list of um, survey datum that is built into the library that comes with OpenOS Designer. So for Singapore, I will load under Asia. Okay, and look under Singapore. So I will just choose this survey datum SBY21 as my reference. 
So once I click OK, this is the datum that I'm currently set up to. So once we have set this up, I can just close this now. And the next part of this exercise is just to bring in the data from Google Earth Pro. So to do that, you can just head on over to this icon here that says Capture Google Earth Image. Okay, so what we want to do now is just to simply click on this. All right, and you will see at the bottom left corner of this um, window, it says enter data point to capture the current Google Earth view. So data point in MicroStation language is just your mouse left click. So all I'm going to do now is I will just left click anywhere in the window. Okay, so just left click. And then you will see here now it says Google Earth initialize completely. So what is going to happen then it is going to load in the data. And once that is done, you can simply just go over to this fit view and you will see the meshes coming in. Okay, so this means that the loading of the data from Google Earth Pro to OpenOS Designer has now been done successfully. But this is not good enough for us to use as a terrain model just yet. We still need to do one final step. Okay, so we need to convert all these triangles here into a uh, usable terrain model. So to do that, we will select the whole thing, all right, all these triangles here, and then going to our terrain tab, we will use this create from elements tool. Okay, so I will use create from elements. And then over here, we want to make sure that our feature type is selected as break line. Okay, because all these are simply break lines containing XYZ information. So the edge method here, I will just use um, none for now. All right, let's see what it gives us. And for the feature definition, I will just simply use existing triangles so I get the triangulations from the terrain model. Then for the name, I can just give it um, existing ground, for example. Okay. And once all the parameters here are set up, all you need to do now is just to look at the on-screen prompt to say data point to add one selected element. So all I'm going to do now is just to simply left click anywhere. Okay. And then once the prompt changes, just left click to confirm on your parameter. So I will just left click and another left click. Now, once all that is done, you will see it, it is being processed. And once the processing is done, the green colored elements are your terrain model. Okay. So once the terrain model has been generated, you can simply go ahead and delete the um, triangle that was brought in from the uh, what do you call it, from the uh, Google Earth uh, import or you can simply hide it because remember that these meshes are all in the default level. So I can potentially go into my home tab, all right, oops, and then under the level display manager here, look for the default level, which is currently the active level. So I'm just going to double click on any of the levels except the default one. And once you see the green row has been uh, updated, just left click once on the default level and it will hide that particular level. Okay, so once the level is hidden, you will see that this is now your terrain model, which you can then uh, use for your onwards design of your geometry as well as your profile. Okay, so this is how you can very quickly import your terrain model from Google Earth Pro into OpenOS Designer. And of course, because this is a 3D view, you can do a 3D rotation to actually get a sensing of where the high points are. So I was looking at Bukit Bato area because there are some hilly terrains there to just give you an idea of, um, of where the flat terrains are or when there's a... Uh, when there's a hill or any increase in elevation this is something that you will also see in the terrain model okay so you can of course uh, change your display style from here if you like you can also just change your display style to just uh, get a better view of how your terrain model actually looks like all right so that's it for this video thank you